I'm Lauren Newton, Head of Instruction at the Thomas G. Carpenter Library at the University of North Florida, and we're here to talk about brainstorming keywords. So a keyword is a significant word or phrase used to find information when researching in an information retrieval system. In other words, if we're on a web search or a database, there's usually a search box, and a keyword or a keywords are the words that you put into that search box to get information. So if I was looking for research on pangolins, I would type pangolin into a database, um, into the search box, and I would get, and theoretically, I would get research back about pangolins. But the, the important thing to think about with keywords is not to just get, is don't get stuck. Don't just use one word. So if your word is, um, is really descriptive and really unique, then you might get a good quality of results with just using one word. But if you don't get good quality resources, or if maybe the word you're using isn't the only word to describe that particular topic or that particular um, research interest, then you might get stuck if you only use one word. You're only looking at the information that comes from using that one vocabulary term. So if you use more than one keyword, you will get um, different and potentially more refined search results. It just kind of depends. The good thing is actually if you have a really unique topic, or not unique, excuse me, if you have a multifaceted topic, you want to put as many words as possible to describe that particular topic so you don't get um, just, you know, so many different things that it's overwhelming. So the more words, the better, as long as they're good words. So let's try this. So let's say that I had a research topic and I was just interested in how young is too young. When should a kid get a cell phone? So from this, I might want to pull out some of the words from my research question. So I, um, I want to look for something unique. I want to look for unique topics or unique words. And so for this, I'm going to start with cell phone. So I could just type cell phone. But there might be other words that are used for the same topic. So I could also use mobile phone. I might find mobile phone more useful, especially if it's in a different country, that they might use the word mobile rather than cell. It just kind of um, depends on what, what that particular researcher was using for their vocabulary. You might want to be more descriptive, and you might want to say, I really am interested in smartphones specifically. So I don't wor I'm not worried about you know, the ones that, just, that can't connect to the internet. I'm really worried about or more interested in the idea of a kid being able to have um, a computer in his, you know, on, his, on his person, in his, in, his, in, his, um, in his pocket. So I might want to do smartphone, narrow it to that. I might actually want to narrow it even further to a particular type of smartphone. So I might want to say iPhone or Android if I thought there was something unique or particularly noteworthy about that particular piece of um, that particular device. I could also focus more on an action that's taken with a cell phone. So instead of just talking about cell phones in general, maybe I'm really concerned about selfies. Selfies are taken with cell phones, and so um, that's a that's an action. It's not quite the same, but it's still something that can be taken with a cell phone um, as opposed to you know, um, some, some other device. So that, I think, is a pretty good set of search terms or keywords relating to cell phones to broaden it or narrow our topic depend and also make it more um, usable to different locations. But that's not the only piece of this question. So if I just typed selfie into my, into my database, I'm not necessarily going to get anything to do with kids. So in that concept of how young is too young. And so with that, I actually want to pick out another word from this. So with this, I'm looking at kids. So I can start with kid. So kid is a rather informal word. Um, it is not necessarily, you know, I know what it is, but it might be, um, and I know what I'm thinking of, but it's not, as I say, it's rather informal. So maybe I want to try a different term, like children, that's more, um, that's more universal and that might have more researchers using children as opposed to kid. I might also want to try adolescence. So it's another version of the same concept, but I might have a researcher who uses the term adolescence rather than using children. 
I can also get more specific. So if I'm looking at a particular population, so if I'm looking at, some, at younger children, so if I really am focusing on elementary students, I might look at that version, um, look at use that as a search term rather than middle school students. So again, you're just trying to really focus in if you need that, if you need to be more specific, you want to have that flexibility to be able to try different things in your in your search box in your search box for your um, wherever you're trying to do your searches. So all of that gets me. I you know if I were to put in um, cell phone and kid, I will probably get some. I would get a variety of different results, but none of that really necessarily defines the impact that I'm looking for. So for this topic, I might actually want to put in a whole other third idea. Um, and so with this, what I'm looking at here is these are, the, these are all of the words for cell phones. These are all the words for kids. And I want to come up with some different ter terms for impact because it's really getting me this idea of, um, you know, what am I talking about? And what am I really trying to research about? So these are some options that might show up. Um, or things that I might be particularly interested in. And if I am really interested in the impact on you know, screen time, and maybe if that is, um, is you know, if a, a child has a cell phone, are they, you know, are they getting too much screen time? That might be the aspect I'm focusing on. Or I might really be focusing on the impact of why, a kid, you know, why would you give a, a kid a cell phone so, um, for a particular age? And it might be that you want to have a safety factor. So you want, you know, the, the child to be able to, you know, go to school by themselves or have a little bit more freedom, but you want them to have the safety of being able to contact somebody if necessary. So that might be the aspect that you're really interested in. You might find that there's a difference in, you know, if, if there's some sort of impact to privacy. Um, so if the child isn't, you know, um, is now opening up to a larger world and maybe with that he needs, um, he or she, um, there might be some impacts on that and, and relating to having, you know, giving a child a, a cell phone. There's some other things, so if you're worried about the health of the child or maybe them becoming um, too dependent on mobile phones, um, so that's a keyword that I found in a couple of different resources. So these are just different keywords to kind of get you thinking about it. And so what you could do here is now when you go to a, um, a database, now that I've brainstormed some different resources, I've, I've some different topics, some different keywords that I might want to use, I might want to pick and choose and see um, what kind of results I get. So I might try and do smartphone and children and safety and see what I come up with. And it will probably be totally different than if I put in selfie and middle school students and, um, and friendships. So maybe you, if you put in friendships, so it's talking about, you know, do, is there something different, you know, are they able to engage with their friends and take selfies together? Who knows? It just kind of depends. You never know what's going to be out there in the research, but the more defined you are when you put in your, your keywords, if you find that you're just not really getting great results, try something else. Don't get stuck. Um, so let's do this with a different, let's do something a little different. Let's change it up now. So what if I said hurricane? I said the, the, the keyword hurricane to you. What kinds of things might I be expecting to get in my search results if I put in hurricanes? This is a term that seems fairly unique. It seems like when I type in a hurricane, especially in Florida, I'm probably going to be thinking of maybe the Miami hurricanes. So the, um, the mascot for the University of Miami, Miami is, is the hurricanes. They are the hurricanes. Is this what you were thinking of? When you thought hurricane, what about this? A nice mixed drink, a nice tropical fruity drink um, that's called a hurricane. Um, so was, is that what I was really looking for? Or am I looking for something more like this? Um, in my case, I was looking for storms. I was looking for hurricanes um, that are weather, weather natures or you know, um, tropical cyclones or other words that might be relating to this. So for this, I might actually want to try and get some help. So when I think of hurricanes, I immediately go to this, but other people might go to other stuff or there might have been research in, um, or information that I can find out about the other two aspects of that same word. So I might want to come up with some different words, but what? Um, but in this case, I might get stuck. I might be stuck. So I would like to use the 
use the database or the web search to help me try and find some different terms. So for this, I'm going to go to our library's homepage and I'm going to try and find some information about hurricanes. So I'm going to scroll to, in our case, I am going to go to our database named OneSearch. Um, so this is at the Thomas G. Carpenter Library. This is our main database. It has about 95% of our content here at UNF and um, that we subscribe to or that we have access to in our building. So I can just type in hurricane, hit enter or one search and get to some search results. So in this case, I'm starting off with um, over 3 million results. You can see the number right there, 3 million, um, 300, no, 3 million. Um, and I can see a variety of different resource types. One of the best things about, um, about our database is we actually have something called a research starter. And it, um, it's about hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones. The good news is that the database was actually thinking about the same kind of hurricane that I was. We weren't, we weren't trying about relaxing on a beach drinking, um, drinking hurricanes. We were actually looking at the weather-related event uh, or storms. So if I wanted to know more about hurricanes, if I wanted to expand my vocabulary, because that's really what we're doing by looking at different keywords, is we're trying to expand our vocabulary and getting um, and, and understanding our topic more um, and our words more will help us get better results. And we don't end up with over 3 million results in our search, in our search strategy that we're just kind of you know, um, scrolling through. So in this case, it's a relatively um, recent article. Um, this is um, a research starter is basically an encyclopedia article. In this case, this one was published in the Salem Press Encyclopedia. And it was reviewed relatively recently. And, um, and so this is the idea, um, it's the same kind of idea of you going to Wikipedia to try and find out more information, get links to different resources that you're looking at that are also related to it. But it's a, it's a, it's a large encyclopedia in terms of these research starters. And they give us some more information, things that we might want to look at. So when I'm looking at hurricane, I might want to also use the term typhoon or cyclone um, or storm. So storm or weather. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here about tropics too. So if I put in, um, so if I was not getting the great results with hurricane, I might want to put in tropical storm, or I might want to put in something um, in particular coming from here. So tropical storm is one, um, winds, those kinds of things. We also get some other aspects of it too. So maybe we can find out, well, okay, so this particular article talks a little bit about the geography. So where are these um, storms taking place? Are there any preparations that we could do to pretend um, to um, to protect ourselves in the event of a storm? Then apparently there's sections here on rescue and relief efforts. So maybe if that's what I'm most interested in looking at, um, and then there's also a whole section here for impact. So different things. Um, there's a history. So this is a fairly complete article that talks about um, that talks about hurricanes. I also have a links links to more information here in a bibliography. 